Hello, this is Virgil Labrador, Editor-in-Chief of Satellite Markets and Research, and we're here at the Satellite Show in Washington, D.C. with uh, Stephen Bjornas. He's the uh, Director of uh, Software Development for a company called Tricep, and he'll talk about that. They are involved in the security solutions. Yes. Yes, so uh, Steve, welcome to this video cast. Yeah, thank you very much. Give, give a brief overview of your company for the benefit of our viewers who aren't familiar with what you do. Well, for sure. Uh, tri Tricep's been around for 28 years. Small business, uh, about 55 to 60 people. Mm -hmm. But we have five major lines of business. Mm -hmm. uh, the main one being launch integration is what we're known for. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do uh, physical security, uh, mm -hmm. skiffs, uh, building skiffs, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, but the main one that uh, I'm here to talk about today is the software development side of the house, right. which is something new that the company's been getting into. Um, and and uh, it, it, we're here to announce our, our new uh, cybersecurity solution right. for satellites. Right, so before that, so it's for satellites, is it for the satellite, uh, the space uh, uh, craft itself or uh, for for ground stations? Uh, yes, it's for the spacecraft itself. Right. There's a lot of people who are, are incorporating secure comms already mm -hmm. and offering that up as a solution. Mm -hmm. What we're more concerned about is maintaining the integrity of the satellite itself. Mm -hmm. All of the software from the data at rest on the hardware right. up to the applications running, validating that nothing has changed and everything is as it's expected to be. Right, right, right. And, and security is a very important concern now, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. In, uh, in the 28 years that we've been around, right. we've seen plenty of examples of people who have not corporate security at all, right. and they have no way of knowing even if they are a compromised or not, and most of them likely are to some extent, right. and being able to protect against that is going to be very important as we more and more satellites get into LEO. Right. And you have a new product that you're launching here, right? Yes, yes, Talk we do. That, yeah. So T-Cell, which stands for tri the Tricep Security Enhanced Layer, mm -hmm. is the new product that just released this week. Mm -hmm. uh, we just went through some rigorous environmental tests mm -hmm. on mission hardware mm -hmm. um, in high pressure uh, vacuum chambers mm -hmm. at the uh, Space Systems Engineering Lab at Old Dominion University. Mm -hmm. So we passed those tests with flying colors, mm -hmm. and it's been a major TRL milestone for us on our way to delivering a commercial product this week. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, our goal is to work with uh, small sat and cube sat manufacturers that are trying to get into LEO. That's our main target, our main right. demographic that we're going for. Uh -huh. But ultimately, uh, any satellite that makes use of similar embedded devices, it could right. use so it. Right, so you're, you're targeting the uh, cube sat. That's a big... Uh, number of satellites. That right? is. It's very significant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely yeah. not a small market, obviously. Right. It's a pretty right. significant market. Right. But it's also a market that's been kicking the security can down the road right. significantly for a very long time. Right. And a lot of catch up needs to happen, which is a big thing we're trying to do. Right, right. Now, just give briefly, you know, how does that work? How does, uh, and how is it different from all the other products that are out there? So, a lot of the products that are out now uh, will ensure that any, any of the data getting to the satellite or from the satellite is mm -hmm. secure mm -hmm. and uh, is the way it's supposed to be. Right. We're more concerned if, if someone were able to compromise your ground station mm -hmm. or if you were to buy compromised hardware, mm -hmm. that the software you put on that hardware is guaranteed that it won't change. Right. and that if it has changed, you will know about it. Right. We want to add security to every layer of operation on the actual physical device. Mm -hmm. So you're not, you not only will it help prevent hackers from compromising your satellite, you'll be more aware of what's happening on your satellite. Right, right. Right, good. That's very interesting, yeah. So uh, what do you see as the trends in the uh, security field and how is your company taking advantage of those uh, opportunities? Uh, so it's the security obviously has been trending uh, very positively in the small sat uh, mm -hmm. industry. As you can see, a lot of the conferences here, security mm -hmm. is a very uh, popular topic nice. at a lot of the uh, discussions. Mm -hmm. um, so we've definitely been leveraging a lot more of the the, the open source crowd mm -hmm. that's been sub contributing to the uh, space industry mm -hmm. and incorporating a lot of the what they've already done and incorporating it into what satellites. Uh, instead of focusing on RTOSs, mm -hmm. our solution is a Linux-based solution mm -hmm. that allows us to piggyback on decades and decades of security enhancements over the years. Right, right. Well, great, great. So what else can we expect from a Tricep? Uh, so Tricept will be, uh, well, we're going to be releasing this this product now, mm -hmm. and uh, right now it's a Linux-based solution, but we have plans to take it further mm -hmm. uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't want to preemptively announce anything, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll, we'll be focusing, we will be moving beyond satellites into other aspects of the space industry and beyond uh, with that particular product. And there's other software products that we have 
uh, on the back burner as well. And then, of course, with our launch and integration work, we'll, we'll be continuing to do that all year long, as we're known for. Right, right. So that's to look forward to, then. Oh, yes, for sure. <laughs> and for us, for a, uh, from a launch perspective, yes. we've been uh, a lot of overlap between those two aspects of our company, uh, as we will be doing a test launch with T-Cell on a Rocket Star launch in a couple months. Uh -huh. And then at the end of the year, we'll be, be reaching, uh, um, doing our first full mission on a, a Rocket Lab Electron launch great, at the great. end of the year. Great. Well, thank you very much, Stephen. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that uh, good overview of the company called Tricep. It's a company that we will be following on satellite markets and research. And for all the news and information on the global satellite industry, you always have satellitemarkets.com. Thank you.